Some welcome news for Albertans. The province is gushing oil money. Alberta's government is projecting a whopping surplus of $13.2 billion for this fiscal year. That is 25 times higher than the $511 million surplus expected back in February. The province is using a big chunk of that cash to pay down debt, despite the pain that comes with the high cost of living these days. Alberta's Finance Minister Jason Nixon joins us now. Welcome back to the program, Minister. What a turnaround. What a turnaround. You know, only a couple of years ago, the province was really struggling. Now you've just booked an eye popping surplus. You know, it's quite remarkable, really. $13.2 billion is a lot of cash. Uh, some pe people are wondering, why aren't you sending out checks to every household to help with inflation? You know, Saskatchewan and Quebec have done it. They have less money than you. Why aren't you going that route? Well, we went a different route. I mean, we, we're spending almost $3 billion in affordability measures right now in the province of Alberta to combat inflation amongst the highest in the country. Uh, but our focus has been on removing the fuel tax in Alberta. There is no provincial fuel tax in our province right now. Uh, and we got rebates going on our electricity bills, on our natural gas bills inside the province, amongst some other significant programs. And that fits with what we committed to Albertans that we would do when it came to combating inflation and affordability that we would come back with measures that we felt could help, uh, but that we're not going to create more inflation problems. And cer certainly the advice we're getting for Alberta is to move forward with uh, cash payments, uh, could create a situation where we're actually making the inflation situation worse in our province. Instead, we focused it on, on these other measures. And we have seen uh, statistical evidence and, and outside agencies indicating that those measures are significantly lowering the inflation rate in our province. So we continue to focus on those programs when it comes to the affordability crisis facing our province and the world. So do you think Saskatchewan and Quebec have it wrong? Are they being reckless by sending out checks that could be inflationary? Well, I can't speak to Saskatchewan and, and, and Quebec's specific situation. Uh, you know, I've worked closely with, with our, our officials here in Alberta to come up with a plan uh, after lots of feedback, of course, from, from Albertans. And, we're comfortable with our plan. We're comfortable with the evidence that our plan is working. And we're continuing to monitor it. And if, if there's more that needs to be done at times because of what's taking place, we'll certainly take those measures. But we committed to Albertans that our focus would be on strategic affordability items that, uh, that, that focus on not creating harm for the very people that we're trying to help. So strategic affordability items. But I, I'm sure you know what your critics have said. You have a massive surplus. You should be doing more. You should be doing more to help people get through inflation. You know, paying down the debt, that's great, but maybe that can wait, especially when the surplus is, what, 25 times larger than you had expected. Uh, what do you say to those people that make those claims? Well, I would say in Alberta, again, there's been $3 billion, just shy of $3 billion worth of affordability items already invested uh, to date. Uh, there will be more, of course, uh, as needed as we monitor uh, the situation. You know, in Alberta, uh, we're the envy of anybody at the pump right now anywhere in this country. You're not, you know, we're, you're not paying any fuel tax in this province. Uh, you know, I would, uh, if I was in Saskatchewan, I would be asking my government to follow Alberta's uh, direction, and that may or may not work for Saskatchewan. Uh, but uh, those are significant investments that, in Alberta, and we're going to continue to do them. Let's pivot to health care, shall we? You know, the provinces have gone... Uh, cap in hand to the feds looking for more cash on the health care system. And, and yet you and a number of other provinces have been posting uh, sizable surpluses. Why do you need more money from Ottawa right now, Minister, when you got a big, a big surplus like this? Well, first off, uh, we in Alberta, we are already making the largest investments and the largest health expenditures in the history of our province the last three years in a row. Uh, and we continue uh, to do so. Uh, let, let me be very clear, uh, we will continue as Albertans to go to the federal government and ask for more of our money back. Because there is no doubt that uh, this province is paying a disproportionate amount into confederation that is not acceptable to Albertans. And uh, we will continue to advocate for as much of our tax resources to come back to this province and to be able to help the, the people of Alberta. Uh, whether or not we're in a position of surplus or not, uh, we expect Alberta's taxpayer dollars to stay in our province and to benefit the citizens of this province. Is there not a case to be made, though, for plowing some of that deficit or some of that surplus, sorry, into the health care system? You know, I, I, I take your point about uh, you made some affordability measures. You, you know, you're paying down the debt, which will help offset some annual costs for sure. And you're going to put it, some money into the Heritage Fund, which you can save it for a rainy day. But why not plow it into a health care system that many people agree is on the ropes and is in crisis? 
Well, again, we are putting significant money into the healthcare system uh, here in Alberta. The largest amount ever spent on healthcare, uh, three years in a row again in Alberta. Uh, we continue to invest in our health uh, care system in an unprecedented way uh, here inside this province and we'll continue to going forward. We also have initiatives that are in budget 2022 that are being implemented this year uh, around surgical initiatives to speed up our surgery times in this province, continue to focus on capacity issues across our entire system and invest in it, uh, as well as uh, the health department right now is working on a significant health issue in our province, which is around EMS services across our province, significant investment coming into that area. Uh, so that remains a priority. And so we continue to do that and will continue to do that. Uh, we can do that at the same time uh, as doing uh, affordable affordability measures to help with inflation, as well as investing, of course, in debt reduction uh, and investing in the future. We have been heard loud and clear from Alberta that they don't want to, us to make the same fiscal mistakes that previous governments have made when they found themselves in positions of resource surpluses. Uh, and that is uh, to mess up the budget so much that you end up paying upwards of 15 or 20 percent more for the same services as other provinces or frankly even less services. Uh, so we're going to continue to invest where we need to in services. Uh, but we're going to continue to do it in a fiscally responsible way. The feds have been a bit coy on how much more money they'll come up with for the for the healthcare system, maybe you can spill some secrets on our show. But uh, you know, Health Minister Johnny Duclos said last week, the federal health minister, this isn't for health ministers. This is up to the finance ministers. Have you had any indication from Christia Freeland at all that she may be cutting some checks this fall to to really stand up a system that is struggling? Yeah, I'm sort of disappointed. I'm not going to be able to make any surprise announcements for you today. Uh, but, I, I, you know, we are in communication with the government. Our, our position has uh, been clear. We've been primarily communicating that through the premier table at the moment. Uh, and, uh, we, you know, we're going to continue to advocate, uh, again, for more of our tax dollars to come back to the provinces and for the federal government to invest inside uh, health care uh, going forward. And that ain't going to be the only thing we're going to continue to push the federal government to bring back. Just because Alberta has found itself in a position of surplus again, uh, doesn't mean that we're going to con continue to or back off on fighting uh, for a better deal for our province and confederation and, and for a recognition of the significant investment that Albertans uh, make in the rest of this country. Okay, let's leave it there. Thank you so much, Jason Nixon, Alberta's Minister of Finance. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.